it's been a few weeks or maybe even months since I uploaded the last video but today I want to share with you guys a dish that I think you guys are gonna love it's called golden tips it's an Ethiopian style of steak with onions uh, with tomatoes uh, but for the sake of this video uh, we're gonna do a uh, 14 ounce strip steak uh, you can use filet or ribeye any piece of meat that is a good quality meat that is easy to saute uh, a lot of places might have it fried but for the sake of this video i'm not gonna do any fried dish we're just gonna use a cast iron uh, the first thing you're gonna do is get some uh, ingredients you're gonna need some uh, bell peppers you don't have to have uh, you don't have to add bell peppers to it if you don't want to uh, you'll need clarified butter cherry tomatoes onions jalapeno rosemary spring olive oil and jarra awaza sauce the awaza sauce uh, i will have another video to show you how to make awaza sauce uh, also the injera because i know a lot of i got a lot of requests uh, in regarding of uh, to make a tutorial on how to make the injera i promise you guys i will do my best to upload a video uh, in the near weeks uh, but the first thing we're going to do is uh, seasoning our, milk, uh, our meat sorry, with uh, salt and pepper on both sides. And uh, make sure your cast iron is very, very hot. There's one thing about uh, any you know, saute or sear, your pan needs to be hot. Uh, we're going to sear on one side and then after about uh, two to three minutes, and then flip it over and then do another sear. And as you can see uh, with the garlic, I do not add the garlic into the cast iron because if we do so, then uh, your garlic will burn before your meat is actually seared. And the fact that we don't add our vegetables yet, you need to keep in mind that you know we're gonna cook everything in the same pan. So now add your bell peppers, onions, and do a quick little uh, stir. And then we're just gonna leave it uh, cooked and then we add our baby ray right on top and then we'll do a quick little stir and with this recipe I am a big I like garlic so if you don't want to add um, too much garlic that's up to you because I think I add about uh, you know a good tablespoon of garlic uh, like I said I love garlic uh, maybe you can cut it down in half that's all that's all up to you and then we're gonna add our jalapenos to the dish. Do a quick little stir. As I said, you know, with the steak, you can actually put it on the grill if you want to, or maybe you might wanna do the vegetable on the side, kinda of like add, uh, you know, use another saute pan and just to saute the vegetables and then add the vegetables to the steak after it's finished cooked, or the preferred temperature. Like me, I like my steak meat rare to medium. But uh, this dish, uh, Good and Tips, is always well done. So it's, uh, I don't think I've never been to a restaurant that actually serve it meat rare. Uh, unless if it's like uh, another dish called Gore Gore, which is kind of like a raw, um, uncooked meat. Uh, but overall, um, you can, you know, they'll, they'll have it well done. So now we're going to put in the oven. Uh, we're gonna let let be in the oven for about uh, let's say four minutes maximum, and then always when you cook in steak, always rest your meat. You don't want to cook your steak right away. As soon as you get out of the oven or off the grill, then you start cut it with a knife. That is a no no. So what's gonna happen? You're gonna release all the juice from the steak, and then you, the steak gonna be a little um, turn to be a bit dry. So you want to rest the steak for a little while, for maybe about a minute or so. And then we're gonna slice the steak at an angle. And on the plate, I have uh, two dot of the uh, waze uh, on the plate. And then with the tomato and, and the, the, the cherry, everything else right on top of the steak. And then we use uh, injera. And so far as the presentation, you can do whatever you prefer. Uh, it's not uh, ideal, you have to you know, present it the way I showed you on the video, but it just looked nice. Especially if you have a guest over that you want to do something nice, hey, there you have it. So this is good and tip.